you, you said you worked three weeks. You, you were suspended mm -hmm. with pay. Then you went back and worked for three weeks. And then on May 27th, 2021, you were fired. You said you were fired by Mayor Burns. Right. Were you shocked? Not at that time. Um, you saw it coming? I did. I saw the writing on the wall, especially since I'd, you know, already served my suspension. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because to hear you talk about self-censoring, uh, when I came back off of my suspension, I had to work that three-week period. I had officers from surrounding agencies that were in close proximity to me um, reach out to me and want to talk to me in private. They didn't want to talk on the phone. They didn't want to send a text message, but they wanted to tell me that they appreciated my video and they appreciated the message that I sent in that video, but they knew that my job was on the line because of it. And they knew that supporting me, even publicly, just, just slightly, their jobs would be on the line as well. Now you say they claim that you weren't fired for the LeBron video. Right. What was the excuse? A uh, violation of the, the department's social media policy. Okay, well, we have a statement from the Bellevue, Idaho mayor's office that says, at the time of this statement, was released last year, Ned Burns was mayor of Bellevue, and he now serves in the state legislature, and Catherine Goldman is the new mayor. We reached out to her for a statement and have not heard back yet, but last year, this is what Ned Burns released as a statement. During the week of May 20th, while on shift, Deputy Marshal Sylvester violated several clearly established City of Bellevue and State of Idaho policing policies. After his previous policy violations, Deputy Marshal Sylvester was placed on probation and was on what is called a last chance agreement with his superior officers. Because of his continued policy violations, the Marshal has terminated Mr. Sylvester effective May 27, 2021. The policy violations have nothing to do with the tone or tenor of his speech that he posts online. He was not terminated for the content of his speech. He was terminated for his failure to follow clearly laid out and well-established policy. Sure. <laughs> I mean, he can, he can say that all he wants. And I've, you know, I've seen this, I've seen this statement from him. Uh, but as you pointed out earlier, um, I had been doing TikTok videos in uniform for, uh, for several months up until the LeBron James video. Mm -hmm. um, and nobody had a problem with those videos. Matter of fact, my marshal, my boss, she was a follower of mine on TikTok. She liked my videos and she actually praised me for the way in which I humanized the badge, so to speak, because mm -hmm. my videos were satirical, they were funny, they were me just being goofy and silly, and I had, a, had started to amass a pretty large following. Mm -hmm. And she was grateful for that because it, you know, people didn't really know where, where I worked, but it put policing in a very good light my problem with this, and we're going to keep talking to you through, throughout the whole conversation here, but my problem with this is there's oftentimes seems to be a mob mentality, people that don't know the facts, they jump on the bandwagon, there's no due process, and you wind up losing your job, your family is traumatized, and the things that are said are vicious and you know threatening violence yes. and uh, I would show a lot of them but it would just be so redacted it would just be black 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 marks through because FCC won't allow it right do you have a story or a question for me click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on